further ado, uh, Cheng Jin is the CEO and founder of AntVR. Uh, he's somewhere around here. Uh, there he is. Um, why don't you take this seat, or you can stand and present. We're going we're gonna to have an interactive uh, session. So I think you and I first met at uh, CES this yeah, year. Yeah. I saw the demo. And what, what really shocked me about ECS is, first of all, um, about half of the people at CES this year were from China maybe a third to a half. I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm right in the ballpark there. And there were a huge number of companies from China and a huge number of VR companies. So uh, a lot of noise um, around VR, but I'm really interested in sharing your story with the audience. And right. so why don't, you, uh, why don't you take the stage and okay. uh, tell, us, tell us what's great about your platform. Then we'll have a little bit of Q&A and I'll just, I'll just sit here and wait for you and then okay. we'll, 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 we'll have a chat. All right, guys. Um, uh, I'm thinking about maybe you are uh, uh, heard about enough applications. So how about we get to the uh, source, get to the beginning. Uh, let's talk about hardware devices. Uh, we're trying to bring you uh, new devices since 2014. Uh, and right now we're bringing our second generation VR headset, which is a brand new ways of VR. Now here's a video, okay? All right. This is our second generation VR and VR kit. And uh -oh. here's the video. Oh, and VR okay, about it. Okay. We bring several novel features for you. It's very difficult then um, to present OLEDs. HMDs. Right now we are using eight, uh, two LEDs to get you very specific and very sharp images. And the field of view is 100 degrees, so you can get very big field of view and you can feel in that the environment. The unique infrared camera is building inside our headset, so it can track your movements in the virtual world and also can track your hands in the virtual space. You can walk into the horror movie and walk around in a very large zone. As long as there is markers on the ground, you can walk in the virtual space. So the tracking zone can be infinity. Also, we won't forget your hands. So you, we use a camera to track your hands. There is an infrared lighting board in the controller so it can track your hands in the movements and very frequently. Also, we design new ways of playing of FPS games. If you don't have enough room to move, you can just sit down and use your hand to control your movements in the virtual world and use your hand as a three-dimensional mouse to control anything you want. So it's just different. All our story is starting from 2014. In the early 2014, we have our Kickstarter campaign, and it's very successful. We are trying to bring people a new way of virtual reality, which is compatible with all existing content and existing games. That is a very successful campaign. And, and later then, we are founded with Goya Capital. And the last year, we're cooperating with Lenovo. And Lenovo is trying to bring our product to to all over the world. Right now, it's about 300,000 kits is already shipping to the uh, customers. We have already attended several expo in the US, 2014, 2015, and 2016, E3, and CS, we're already there. We're trying to bring you a very new way of virtual reality, which is our open scheme. The learns of virtual reality, we think it should be none of distortion, and it, will, it can be compatible with all the Glasses wearers and also compatible with all the existing platforms. We're also focusing in the future. Uh, our compound eye optics can make the headset more smaller. That is the new ways of virtual reality. And also we are focusing in light field display using micro lens arrays. So that is in the future. They will eventually bring a new base of virtual reality goggles in the future. And that is us. And VR, we bring new virtual reality and open virtual reality for all you guys. Okay? Thank you. Have a seat. <laughs> Thank you. Well, let me, uh, I think this is a little bit awkward, so let's, I can talk to you. So um, tell me a little bit more about the company. Um, how many people are in the company? Okay. Uh, how much funding have you raised? Um, you said you've got 300, uh, how, many, how many development kits? Uh, uh, for the uh, for the Nova product here, I bring it to to me. Oh great! Uh, yeah, this is our another product. Someone might think it's another plastic cardboard, but it's not. Uh, it's a foldable uh, VR goggles. You can put your smartphone in, 
uh, and it's also uh, with the non-distortion norms. So it's, uh, so, so it's the same as our headset. It's just non-distortion, so it's open with all the existing content. And this is already shipping to the customer around 300,000 kits oh, for, the, for the customers with the Nova smartphone. So yeah. how, big, how many people work for the company? Uh, right now we're around 70 people. Seven, 70? 70. 70. Wow, that's a lot. And, and, and how have you been funding this? Uh, we have a several funding. Right, last year, by the end of last year, we just finished our B series. Oh, that's yeah. fantastic! And who can you tell me who are the investors? Are they uh, local? Our A A series is uh, funding with the Goya China, that's and cool. our B round is uh, with uh, Chinese listed companies. Oh, fantastic! Yeah, Chinese listed companies. So, so we've heard a lot about VR this yeah. morning. I think you were sitting here. I mean, there's a lot going on in VR. It's it, it's almost a land grab. It's very crowded. Yeah. You've got a couple of big companies in the U.S. Yeah. Um, you know, Facebook through Oculus and HTC mm -hmm. and Samsung. You know, yeah. working on this. How do you compete in that market with these big giants who are rolling out uh, All VR right. headsets? All right, that's a good question. In the very beginning, by the early 2014, there's just the Oculus. There's no HTC, no Gear VR, and by that time, so we already we already determined that we are trying to try try new ways of virtual realities. Uh, by that time, so we are trying to notice that uh, maybe Oculus and in the future, they were focusing on make a closed ecosystem. That means the users can only use the games in that platform, in their platform, and pay for them. But, but, but as I think, uh, in my way, I use Android phones. So I, I, I got to know that maybe some users need to use uh, open ways of virtual reality. So mm -hmm. I, I try to do that way. So as an open ecosystem, it should be compatible with all existing content, as long as it's a virtual reality content or it's not a virtual reality content. So that is the way we made these stuff to competing with our and, uh, with, and, with other And partners. what do you think is the secret sauce? Is it the lens technology? Is it the, 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 the floor grid that you and I nah. looked at at CES? Yeah. Maybe talk about uh, that a little bit. To be open, it's, uh, it's in several ways. At uh, first, the, the lens is, is, is the most important key. Because uh, if we use a special lens, so you can, when you look through the lens, you will never see a distortion to the image. So it's a well compatible with all existing images. But uh, as our tracking technology, we're just trying to make people a new ways, a new choice of tracking technology. As you can see, uh, some ones use outer uh, cameras to capture movements, and some ones use maybe outer uh, laser projector. But in our ways, we use the new ways of technologies to track your movements and the tracking zoom might be infinity. So that's just a new ways. We are trying to um, bring people new ways of solutions. I see. Yeah. I'm curious, do you think Oculus is going to have any traction in China or is it going to be a separate ecosystem? I mean, there's no Facebook yeah. in China. Yeah, yeah. So why would there be any Oculus? So yeah. I'm, I'm curious, what I'm sensing is there's going to be a whole separate ecosystem of Chinese hardware manufacturers, glasses, game developers. You know, it's gonna. It's a completely different market. This is what I'm seeing. Okay. But I, I'm curious what your mm, thoughts mm. on that are. Yeah, actually, it's already a, a problem right now in the game ecosystems. Um, there is not a. Uh, there is many Chinese game companies making their own games and very popular in China. Mm. But there's uh, not much games uh, from the U.S. is very successful in China mm -hmm. because you know the games should be uh, be approved by the governments. So right now, yeah. Yes, yeah, okay. real. Yeah. So right now, yeah. uh, people are worried about virtual reality because you know uh, the Facebook, they are, they have their ecosystem and also uh, Gear VR. But all the ecosystem is very hard to get into China because they are just published by uh, mm -hmm. overseas companies. So right mm -hmm. now, it's just a little bit of opportunities for us because right now, uh, if we can cooperate with Chinese game companies, we can just bring the games. It's really cool and really and it's ready for the Chinese gamers. So that's this, uh, th that, that is real uh, uh, opportunities for us. And tell, tell me a little bit about the business model. Are you gonna make money just selling the hardware or are you gonna have an app store? Uh, okay. are, you gonna, are you gonna license the platform? Well, it depends. Uh, in the international market, we are trying to just sell our users um, uh, as useful as uh, the product. So. It's just useful enough for, for, for our customers, and they will buy it to play any games. We don't try to push them uh, and provide them games, so they just buy the hard, hardware. But in China, 
uh, we can do some ecosystems. Uh, but we never force our customers to buy our games. They can buy and they cannot buy. They can just play any other games. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. One last quick question. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to stay on the time frame here. Okay. What do you What do you What are you worried about? What's your biggest challenge in building this company? What keeps you up at night? Yeah. Um, right now, I'm worried about that. There is only one company that is asked who is focusing on the open ecosystem of virtual realities. Everyone is trying to build a very huge and close ecosystem. Mm -hmm. uh, there is is there enough rooms for for the open ecosystem survive in the world? I'm worried about that. But right now, we got some partners. Uh, the Razer who built OSVR is our partners in the o open ecosystems. And we hope there are more partners in the open ecosystem. And we will together to build a very open and a very beautiful future of virtual reality in the open way. Fantastic. Jane, okay. thank you so much. Thank you. Great thank to you. see you. And here's a for you. Oh, thank you. I think you actually gave me one at CES. I don't know. You probably don't remember. <laughs> here's a new version. Here's yeah. a new version. Okay, thank okay. you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I still have it. Thank you. <laughs>